What's up traders? In today's video, I'll be performing a market forecast on EURUSD using smart money concepts. So stay tuned. Now, it's been a really long time since I performed a market forecast on EURUSD. I have been keeping tabs on the pair, especially over the last couple of weeks, and I do think it has entered a rather interesting area of the chart where we can potentially look for some opportunities here going into the end of 2022. Now, in the interest of time, I'm going to be keeping my analysis on the chart. I'm not going to re remove any of my drawings, but what I will be doing is I will be talking you guys through exactly what I think is going to be happening here on EURUSD, all right? Now, starting off on the daily chart, and as you guys can see, we had a bearish market on EURUSD for the majority of 2022. However, at the end of October, say the start of November, we saw price action shift from a bearish market state to a bullish market state. And that particular shift in structure occurred with this break of structure to the upside in here. We can see that after price action put in a new lower low in here, we had the pullback. Price action mitigated a daily supply zone, which just so happened to sit within premium pricing of this particular bearish leg, all right? We had that mitigation. However, this new lower high failed to create a new lower low. As soon as this high failed to create a new lower low, it became weak. And then as soon as price action broke that particular high, we saw a change in structure. Why? Because this new higher low, okay, created a new higher high. And after it did that, we had another pullback. Price action came in, mitigated a daily wick zone, and then went ahead and broke that structure again, okay? So after the change in structure occurred in here, we can see that price action for the last couple of months has been trading bullish, right? Now, where things become interesting is with this particular price delivery in here. So as you can see, price action is currently interacting with a daily supply zone that previously was left unmitigated. If you cast your, your eye to the left in here, you can see that we had a valid break of structure to the downside, which would have obviously given us a new bearish leg. And if I bring on my premium and discounted tool, just to illustrate that a bit clearer to you, you will see that after price action put in this low, price action pulled back, it just about stopped short of mitigating this particular four hour supply before continuing with that underlying trend. We had a period of consolidation before getting another break of structure to the downside, right? So this particular daily supply zone was the extreme zone of this daily break of structure to the downside. And as you can see, it was not mitigated until recently where price action is now interacting with it. Now, if you notice on the chart here, you'll see that I have my new higher low marked out, all right? You'll notice that I have my bullish break of structure marked in here but you'll see that I haven't quite marked out a new daily high. And that is because I am waiting to see a new daily high form. The reason I'm waiting for that new daily high to form is because the way this price action is being delivered right now, it's showing some exhaustion, all right? We obviously had a lot of bullish momentum step into the market. Then we started seeing this kind of slowdown. So this is a very, very clear indication that this particular bullish move is beginning to slow down and we can start to anticipate some kind of pullback. Now, the reason I want to wait for that daily high to form is because these two daily supply zones are now going to be are now going to be acting as reaction points. OK, remember, as we always say, any S&D zones, any POIs, that are left unmitigated in the future can become reaction points. And that's what I'm waiting to see right now. I'm waiting to see whether or not this particular zone will be that reaction point for me, 
or whether price action is going to trickle just a little bit deeper before giving us a mitigation and a potential reaction from the supply zone that sits just higher. So in terms of structure on the daily chart here on Euro USD, I am waiting to see a new daily high form. Once I see that new daily high form, then I know that I can start looking for a pullback from that new high, all right, to potentially mitigate something down here, potentially even this demand zone a little bit deeper in here before price action ultimately continues with that underlying bullish trend that we established back in here, all right? Now, this way of trading SMC, waiting for that daily high to form, understanding that you have these potential reaction points in here, waiting to see what price action does here before marking out your daily high, these are things that you will develop over time, all right? The more you apply yourself in the markets, the more time you spend applying the concepts and trying to make them work for you, the more experience you'll get and the more you'll pick up on these little things, all right? So don't be too discouraged if you're not quite understanding why I'm not marking this, for example, out as my daily high, all right? Just know that this particular price delivery in here is a nice indication that this bullish momentum is starting to slow down, all right? And the reason this particular bullish momentum is seemingly starting to slow down is because of the fact that we are now reacting with fairly significant daily POIs that were previously not mitigated, right? Now from the daily chart, we're gonna hop down to the four hour chart, and this is where things get extremely interesting, right? So if we zoom out a little bit more, um, and if we just quickly denote our four hour structure in here, you can see that this is my daily low, and you can essentially see that my four hour Ever since this low was created, ever since this daily low was created, my four hour has essentially been bullish as well. We had a period of consolidation in here, right? But we created a, a new higher low before price action broke to the upside. So this is my four hour break of structure. We created a new four hour high in here. And what is significant is the fact that this particular four hour high was formed, right? Within that daily reaction point within that daily supply zone, which was previously left um, unmitigated. So as soon as we had this four hour break of structure in here, all right, we created a new four hour bullish leg in here. All right. Now, once we had that new four hour bullish leg created, we had our equilibrium at this particular point in here. We can saw that price action mitigated that four hour really well. We had the bearish pullback, as you can anticipate, after a new high is formed. Price action comes in and it mitigates this particular four hour wick zone, right? That sits at the equilibrium of this four hour bullish leg, okay? But what is very interesting is the fact that this particular four hour mitigation did not lead to a new high being formed. All right. Essentially, what happened here is price action broke to the upside. OK, formed a new high. We had a pullback, which mitigated a high probability four hour demand zone. We know it's high probability because it sits at the equilibrium of this particular four hour leg. All right. So we get that mitigation and then we have a nice bullish run, which should have right, which should have taken this four hour week high. However, this particular bullish run failed to break the four hour high. Okay. So what that means is it means that this particular point in here, this particular low could now be regarded as a weak low, right? There is potential for it to be regarded as a weak low. Notice though that after price action mitigates this four hour zone here, right? We can see we have a valid break of structure to the upside in there. Now that break of structure obviously originates from this four hours here, okay? And notice how this four hours has not been mitigated yet. We have some nice liquidity that sits just above it, but we do not have a mitigation. So going into the last couple of weeks of 2022, 
essentially we want to see which one of two scenarios are going to be playing out here on euro usd all right we are anticipating the four hour week high to go however we can see the price action has failed to take that week high there is a possibility that this particular four hour demand zone could offer a second opportunity for price action to take that week high if that demand zone fails if this particular low is violated then i would say price action would have shifted from a bullish market state to a bearish market state and that this particular daily supply zone would have been the supply zone that gives us that reaction that we we're talking about on the daily chart all right understand however that we still have irrespective of what price action does in here understand that we still have a four hour bullish leg in here and there exists the possibility that price action could trade down mitigate this and potentially continue with an underlying bullish trend all right in order for you to not get confused all you want to do is you want to follow price action you want to follow your structure if this holds you want to look for buys all right if this breaks down you want to look for sells but you only want to look for sells until you get to this particular point in here potentially right the reason this particular four hour demand zone is of interest to me as well and the reason i think it might give a second opportunity at taking this four hour week high is because of the fact that within this four hour zone all right we've got this really nice one hour demand zone in here and as you can see we have our four hour high in here we have our equilibrium in here and we have that four hour slash one hour zone that sits at the equilibrium that was mitigated in here so if we zoom in you can see that we had a nice valid 15 minute change of character and we can see the price action change from internal bearish structure to internal bullish structure right after that change of character however despite these really clean bullish breaks of structure here from an internal structure point of view we mitigated this one hour zone here all right really nice one hour zone and price action failed to take the week high so this particular one hour demand zone that sits here you can see it sits just below this liquidity it is looking like a really nice zone and it could give us it could give us that potential second opportunity to take the week high we need to keep the daily context in mind as well however because we are seeing okay we are seeing exhausted price action and we're waiting to see whether or not this particular uh, supply zone or this particular supply zone is going to give us that stronger bearish pullback that stronger bearish reaction all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure you leave it a like this is most likely going to be the last video of 2022 as we're approaching christmas the markets do tend to slow down i generally only trade during the first week of december and then after that i kind of just keep tabs on the market just to stay in tune with it but i don't take any trades any trades necessarily if i do take any trades if i do see something interesting between this video going live and the end of the year i definitely will make another video but i do hope you guys enjoyed this video as always i appreciate you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one